Hello, and welcome to Mego Museum's Mint Off Card, uh, where we take figures out of the package and let you get a good look at them. And we've got a first this week. Uh, on this show, we, of course, have done figures by Mego, Figures Toy Company, NECA, Diamond Select, and others. But this is a first, as it's the first figure from White Elephant Toys. While it is the first for this channel, White Elephant Toys is by no means a newbie to the toy production game. This is the brainchild of Jason Shearmeyer, who has been around since the 1990s and producing toys, I believe, since the early 2000s. And he's had his hands in a lot of things. Lately, these days, his main business is a company called KC's Galloping Gals, which caters to a different demographic than Mego collectors, even though they are 8-inch figures. They are basically 8-inch female equestrian toys. So um, these are, you know, people who collect horses. They want riders. The figures themselves are very well made and highly articulated and come in a variety of different skin tones and hair colors. And to be quite honest with you, uh, this is a completely different genre than Mego collecting. But I'm surprised more Mego collectors, especially customizers, haven't you know, turned on to this because it's a wonderful source for an excellent uh, female body. Some of the female bodies out there for, for Mego scale figures are a little lacking. So uh, this is a wonderful alternative. And I can testify personally that it's great for customs. I've made a few and I've got a few more in the works. And it's, it's just really nice to work with something this quality. So Jason has decided to spin off uh, Casey's Galloping Gals and do something that appeals more to guys like me. And this is his first in what I hope is a series. I, I believe it will be followed up by another character very soon. And this is called Murderous Maidens. And our first character in this series is Lilith, the Vampire Bride. Female characters are notoriously underserved right now in 8-inch uh, action figure collecting, and that, that extends to the horror genre. So, first off, you know, I applaud this endeavor just for trying to uh, find its own niche and roll with it. Uh, second of all, I really like this concept. Um, we've got a really nice card art. I believe this is done by someone named uh, Rhino Art. The packaging itself is extremely collector-friendly. Collector-friendly stuff is, is always a favorite of mine, even though I think I'll keep her out on display. And uh, I'll explain my quandary with that later on because there's, there's a lot to do here. But let's have uh, some silly music and a montage featuring Lilith, the Vampire Brides from White Elephants, Murderous Maidens, shall we?
So there you have it. Lilith, the murderous maiden's vampire bride from White Elephant Toys. Here are some of my thoughts on this character. My main point about all of this is she's an original character. She's an original idea. And I appreciate that more than a reproduction of something I already had before or a character I've seen, you know, three or four times in, in the eight-inch scale. This is something no one has thought to make, but I believe there is a demand for. Um, you know, the, the trope of the vampire bride extends to all of the lore. And, you know, as you saw in the montage, I could have just kept going and going and going because I was having fun with it. I was actually having fun making that montage because there was just so many opportunities to add this character into some hijinks here. In terms of the figure itself, I'm very fond of her expression. I know some folks would have probably wanted a vampire bride bearing her fangs, and <clears throat> I, I would be on board for that, but I also think that could be a variation down the road. I, I do kind of like her look. Uh, the dark eyeliner, the, you know, the dark makeup. She gives me kind of a vibe of, like, some British act. Like, it's very hammer-looking. Um, I want to say, you know, it looks a little bit like something from Dracula, A.D. 1972. And the eyeliner also gives me a Anushka Hempel kind of uh, look to the figure. She's a British actress. Look her up. The outfit itself is simple and well-tailored and what you would expect a vampire bride to be wearing. And of course, again, there could be variations of this and white flowing dresses. Um, there's, there's a lot to, that he could do here, and I, I kind of respect that. The thing I found really interesting is Lilith's feet are actually shoes. And that makes a lot of sense because I notice on female figures sometimes... Uh, the shoes always kind of fall off, especially when you're trying to do like a high heel thing. Um, this looks a lot better, I think, than, than added on shoes. That's just my opinion. Um, it really accents the outfit nicely, and it, the whole package kind of works. I will say that I did make one tiny modification to this when I got it, and that was to put a glue dot on her leg so that her dress uh, covered her pelvic region. It's, you know, it's one of those things where you just don't want a wardrobe malfunction. This is a family-rated show. Or that's just a tiny little thing, and it doesn't detract from my enjoyment of this figure. I have no idea where to put her, because she fits in with all my horror characters. I'm probably going to put her next to the Christopher Lee Dracula, just because she's got that early 70s hammer look about her, and I love it. And... You know, my mind reels from the possibilities and potential uh, Jason and White Elephant toys have with this line. I think they've actually created something very unique. And a line of, you know, murderous maidens, no matter what they are, but if they include monster tropes like zombies or mummies or things like that, I'm all in. Um, I've heard tell that the next figure may be Lizzie Borden, which is a very interesting take, and I'm really curious to see what they do there. But I'm all for, you know, Lilith having friends and variations because this is such an underserved portion of figure collecting. And uh, kudos, man. This is great. I really want to applaud this endeavor. Now, um, I spoke with Jason today, and he mentioned that uh, he does not have a website up and running yet, but the figures are ready and available for order. So I've put his email address in the description below. So if you're interested in getting on board with White Elephant Toys, Murderous Maidens, uh, I highly recommend it. And, uh, you know, I would go now because I, I don't know how long he's going to have. So that is my review of Murderous Maidens, Vampire Bride. What would you like to see this company come up with next in this format? You can let me know here in the comments below. Or you can hit me up at our Facebook page, Mego Museum, where we'll be posting a link to this video. Uh, give me your thoughts. Thanks, as always, for watching. Uh, if you're new to this, I hope you'll consider hitting like and subscribe. Until next time, buy what you like. Cheers.